God bless you. My name is Azola. And you are listening to Pastor Kwame. He says, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Amen. That means that he's a covenant-keeping God. And may I remind you that you are under a covenant. Amen. May I pronounce his blessings on you. It is called a priestly blessing from the book of um, Numbers. It says now, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you favor and give you his peace. And I declare these blessings over your weekend. As always, it has been my tradition to bless your weekend. May your weekend be blessed. May God strengthen you. May God restore you. And may God rejuvenate you for the week ahead. Amen. Because he leaves, you can face next week. Because he leaves, you can face tomorrow. Because he leaves, you can face no matter what. No matter what comes my way, my life is in his hands. Amen. Let me work on my assignment today. I believe and I declare that may it be well with your soul, your spirit, and your body in Jesus' name. My assignment is located in the book of Psalm 137, the division for psalm 137 the division for the bible says now but how can we sing the songs of the lord while we are in a pagan land the normal translation for this famous verse is that how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land but how can we sing the songs of the lord while we are in a pagan land i want to share with you today on this friday how to be happy in a sad place how to be happy in a sad place amen how to be happy in a sad place praise be to god um Psalm 137 is a very big psalm. It begins with by the rivers of Babylon where we sat and wept. We hung our harps and the people that took us captive requires us of a song. And we said, how can we sing the lost song in a strange land? Uh, may I kind of, uh, uh, inform you that this question, how can I sing the lost song in a strange land, is actually the summary of life itself. Follow me as I develop this picture for you. In the book of Genesis, the Bible says God created man and placed man in the Garden of Eden. Eden is the place of man. That is our original place of happiness. And the Bible says within a short period of time, man lost eating. And since then, man has been sojourning in a strange land. That is why those who are covenant people, they see this world as a strange place. They see this world that we are strangers and pilgrims on earth because we have been we, we have been kind of dislocated from our original place. A place where we can sing the lost song. A place where we can have a cool of the day conversation with God. And so understand that this verse is more of the summary of life itself. That man has lost his original home and we are now asking ourselves, how can I be happy in this thing we call this world? And all of us are aware that the pain, the toil, the difficulty, the mistrust and the wickedness of men has made us understand that this world is not a place that is called the house of God. That is why Jesus said, for this kingdom is not mine, but my kingdom is not of this world. So we are are all living in the reality of the human condition which is we are in a pagan land the bible calls the owner of this land the prince of this earth and we are battling the bible says we are pressed on many sides we are persecuted not abandoned and we are struck down but not destroyed this life is war this life is difficult and how do you find happiness in this thing we call life hallelujah and that's what i want to begin to share with you today as you begin to um believe that by and by you are going going to um, grow into grace and into glory and to begin to behold his face and uh, uh, assume what the fathers call the blessed assurance the the, 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 the coming of, uh, of of the restoration of Eden back to where we belong so I want to share with you a few thoughts today on how to be happy in a sad place and 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 and, and, and the the reality is that there are many sad places on earth the reality is that there are many sad chapters of your life but 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 the question becomes how can i sing the lost song in a strange land so i'm going to be practical and give you three quick things that i want you to remember to do life with life is a strange place to be this world is a strange world mothers fathers sisters brothers hear me out this world is a strange place and sometimes you have to literally forget about what is happening and read the bible to get some encouragement 
spirit because when you listen to what is happening out there this world is a dark place but they that know their god we shall be strong and do as play so i want to share with you three quick things that you can do to be happy in a sad place this world is a sad place but there is a way the bible says that as soon as adam point number one as soon as adam left eating adam took his wife along that is the first step into doing life i came to 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 not place a demand on you but i came to let you know that never be alone refuse to be alone in this strange land the first thing adam did was adam said i have lost the lost land and now i'm going to a strange land i'm going to a pagan land but i need my wife with me and this is not the question about marriage but the question about do not do life alone hallelujah it is one of the works of the enemy to isolate you and destroy you and practically i'm speaking to you as a man of god and i want you to understand that intentionally forge intentionally uh invest into uh, uh, refuse to be alone you and 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 it doesn't have to be a marriage it doesn't have to be but when you decide to walk alone you are going to be sad in a sad land first thing adam did was to not say to the woman you are all you are all the reason why i'm in this so go your way and let me go my way the right thing to do is to refuse to be alone in this wicked world the options are many you need your own oh, uh, my god help me you need a brother you need a sister you need the mom you understand let me let me let me work on that um, point a little clear for you when i say refuse to be alone i mean refuse to be alone if it means finding a lover please do it if it means finding a sister please do it because the funny thing is that you can be born in a big house and still be alone you have to intentionally make quality relationship find let me tell you there is you don't have an excuse to be alone it's an excuse if i said it this week that there are 7.7 billion people on earth so if god is your best friend you have a problem so what i'm saying is that don't be alone don't be alone when i say alone i mean you don't have an intimate relationship with somebody when i say intimate it means that there is nobody in this world who can check up on you and you guys can talk heart to heart and you guys can do life on a deeper meaning it has it can be you know i have realized that sometimes the person doesn't have to be your biological brother for you to find a brother in him if you said there are a lot of crazy people out there because i told you we are in a pagan land but if you but the point is that you have to keep searching till you find an auntie you can call this is my auntie even though she's not your blood auntie you can find an uncle this is my uncle even though she's not your real uncle in other words don't do life alone if you are going to be happy in a sad land don't stay in your room and do life alone adam said i'm not going to do this thing alone come here woman i don't know whether it was my fault or your fault but now that we have left eating we got to do life together so i beseech you therefore by the message of god that don't do life alone find a brother find an auntie and the easier way for an elderly woman to if you are elderly mom on this platform find a younger girl if you have trained all your kids and they have gone and they are all old enough find a daughter and say i adopt you as my daughter and as you pour wisdom into the child you are not doing life alone find somebody to help find somebody find some don't that's the first point don't do life alone you want to be don't do don't stay oh come on 
no matter your condition find somebody the easiest way to find somebody is to find somebody you want to help a lot of people need help so as soon as you open up and you want to help people before you know you are doing life don't do life alone don't do life alone you need a friend at every point in time you need a friend it's not easy to find a good friend but what i want you to understand is that you cannot sit down and say pastor i don't trust nobody so i'm going to do life alone that is the wrong way to do life adam said woman we have lost eating but we can't lose each other point one the way to be happy in a sad place is to not do life alone find somebody an uncle a pastor find somebody and and make that person your own hallelujah point number two to be able to um to be happy in in a sad place you need to belong to something you need to belong to something, and I, I and, and I, I I want you to understand. Um, God in His wisdom created a family. God in His wisdom created the family so that it can be that support system. Uh, apart from the fact that you need a person, you also need to belong to something. And if you're on this platform and you are not taking church seriously, you can do life properly unless you belong. You belong. It's a human need to belong. You understand that to be part of something bigger than yourself if you don't have that you cannot be happy in a sad place i i i want to encourage you if you go to a church that they don't have small groups start your own small group two or three girls pray together do life together gossip about each other fight about each other forgive each other and keep going because that is how you do life the bible says as time went on the people who had left eating came together and said that if we come together we will build a tower and the bible said god the father god the holy spirit they had a quick meeting and said let's go down and destroy these people with different languages because the the people is one whatever they will do is possible in the pagan land if you, you unite with people and you become one with the group you can do whatever you want to do on your own you can do things there are certain things you can't do on your own but when you belong to so i want to encourage you those who are extroverts on this platform start small groups uh, i mean it's something that is is is, is necessary and and i know you, i can feel the pushback pastor you don't know i don't want to tell my my tell my my stuff to people where they, before we know they are taking my my husband's story to outside pastor you know me i don't do group i mean i, I mind my own business you are doing life wrong in unity, oh my God, my God, my God. In unity of, if you can find five girls, five boys that pray together, I can guarantee you all those five boys will do well. The reason why I have a pastor friend, a pastor friend, a pastor friend, a pastor friend, that we all grew up together was because we we're praying together. If all these friends of mine were on our own, in our own island, not, some of us would, would have been dead by now. But there is this corporate energy you create. So I want to encourage you, mothers, connect to other mothers, five, four mothers, coming together, praying. I'm, I'm telling you, it is okay for you to gossip and fight and, and even quarrel, but it is the first phase of every relationship. It is natural. Relationships start with excitement and it ends into knowing each other's character and it gets into conflict. And after you resolve the conflict, it becomes a solid relationship. That's how every relationship go through. So if you don't don't want to learn how to resolve conflict you can do life happy in a sad place i want to encourage you seek to be in a group and feel that you belong to this sisterhood you belong to this brotherhood you belong to this that's the second thing you do to succeed in a strange land be find a friend find a brother find a sister like I said, sometimes your biological family is not as awesome as you want it to be. But find and I, 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 it's sometimes easy to find a friend outside than to find a friend inside. 
and secondly belong to something if you have biological sister that you guys click belong to share life do life together you cannot be happy in a strange land you can't sing the love song in a strange land unless you harmonize with somebody and lastly but not the least you have to be a person that is dedicated to something that is productive hallelujah um produce pro- be a producer be a producer amen the bible says now and adam knew the wife and they gave birth to a son amen to be happy in a pagan land you have to produce and when i say produce i'm not talking about making babies i'm talking about putting your hand into something and doing i didn't come to tell you deep things i came to be practical with you all today i didn't come to prophesy i came to be practical the first thing is that find a friend find a brother find an auntie find a cousin find a sister find somebody you can cry on the phone with and and know that this is my homie and also secondly belong to a group create one if you need to and lastly put your hand to do something that you are going to be proud of Put your hands, and I'm not talking about finding a job. No, no, no. I'm talking about produce something. Produce something. Produce something. I, I was at a meeting um, yesterday, or oh, two days ago, and and the, the young preacher said that um, a job is what you do, but purpose is what you do if there is God. Do you understand? A job is what you do, but purpose is what you do if there is God. You understand? If there's no God, then a job is what you do. But because there's a God, your life is not called for a job. Your life is called for a purpose. And that purpose is what you are called to do whilst you are in this strange land. Understand that your life has a purpose to it. And as you begin to put your hand to that purpose, then you will be happy in a sad place. It, I, I, and you notice I didn't say anything about money. You notice I didn't say anything about uh, marriage because that is not what makes you happy in a strange land hallelujah first you let me recap again you need to find somebody that you can share your life with on a deeper level secondly you need to belong the need to belong is an emotional need you must have and lastly you must throw yourself into your purpose and do what you are that is fulfilling to you and i believe that you will begin to sink again in a strange land this is very strange to point let me begin to pray with you on today father we thank you we give you glory and praise and honor we know that we were, we are with you and you are with us and because of that nothing that we put ourselves into to do will fail you are a god that doesn't fail may god continue to do you good in jesus name amen